So I'm working on getting running water in the shack. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a lot of uh, pumps and such and accumulator tanks and water tanks. And I want to keep all that stuff outside. So I'm building just like a simple box to house all that stuff and contain it on the outside of the shack. And it's just going to be attached to like the right side of the shack. So right here I got my water tank and the connectors for it. I got some hose and this is the 12 volt water pump that I'm going to use to suck the water out of the tank. And this is an accumulator tank. This is going to make the water flow a little bit more steady and give some other benefits. I don't want to go into it right now though. Get them as tight as possible. All right, so I need one of these 90 degree bends for this one.
on it. These PEX lines I'm running to the water heater right now. I didn't keep them outside. I was just setting them up outside to test the whole system to make sure it works. Later on, I ran them inside underneath the flooring. Now that I got the T on, I gotta add another piece. There we go. There, so that should sit just like that. And if I need to drain the system, I just open this ball valve and it drains the whole thing. All right, so now I'm inside by the sink. And I gotta drill a hole through the wall into the little outer box I made outside through here. I had to drill another hole a little bit to the right because there was a floor joist right here. Um, I didn't want to drill right through that, so I'll have to cover this up with some plywood and fill it with insulation and stuff again. The sink is right about here and it drains out the bottom and it flows out here. I am probably going to extend this down into the woods here um, or I'm going to use it to water a garden, maybe like a flower bed somewhere along here, I'm not sure yet. been having some issues with these push to connect uh, water lines here. If you don't get the connection absolutely perfect, they leak and it's been a giant pain in the ass and I've spent a bunch of money on these but I'm calling it quits and I'm changing up what I use for it. on there good that was easy too I, man I should have used these to begin with all right so the sinks all hooked up now so I have cold water but I don't have hot water yet so I just got this diesel heater I've seen these used in a lot of van life people's videos all the parts and stuff are in here so I got to assemble it but they're pretty cheap they're pretty efficient and they don't use much power so here's everything put together essentially um, I haven't tested if it works yet. Problem is that it has these four smaller nozzles and they only sent me two of these big fat ones. They don't even fit on there, there's no connectors. So I'm gonna have to go 3D model some of my own connectors to put, put these together and join them to the tube. So gotta go do that uh, before I can continue. So I designed and 3D printed this manifold to go onto of the heater and it's got these four holes on it and they didn't send me the appropriate tubing they only sent me these big fat ones so I had to 3d print a manifold to go over these and then divert it into two separate ones the reason I need two is because three of the four holes are gonna get funneled into this one which is gonna go in the house and the other 25% of the heat is going to be put into this thing here. So about 25% of the heat's going to be going into this box and keeping my plumbing and my pipes and hoses and water tank nice and warm in the winter so they don't freeze. So the heater is working. You can hear it going right now. The manifold is working great. It's diverting all the air like I want it to. I'll be hiding the tank somewhere. I just don't know quite where yet. I thought I could put it like right there on that wall, but there's not quite enough room. 
the hinge doors didn't quite work the way I wanted them to. So I went and made these 2x4s that I cut some channels into. These are going to go here, and then the, um, the plywood panels that cover this box are just going to slide into place there, instead of have, being on a hinge. Oh, that's beautiful. That works wonderfully. Wow. Awesome. So the utility box is now done. It's now early spring. It survived the winter. I did have to make some changes to it over the winter, though. So I moved the diesel heater over here to the right near all the plumbing and stuff. I did that because the plumbing was freezing in the winter, and so I moved the diesel heater so that its natural heat it gives off would also keep the plumbing from freezing. I used to have an instant hot water tank here, um, but I found it was nearly impossible to keep it from freezing outside during the winter, and then every time it froze it would break itself, so uh, I got rid of that. I'm going to do something else for the hot water heat. So yeah, the utility box works pretty well over winter, kept my water warm for the most part, keeps everything inside dry, and there's still some room over here for me to use for like electrical stuff, which will be coming soon. Like most things around here though, um, this is still definitely very much a work in progress.